six pack my own family okay if you are someone who wants to gather more ideas about how they can potentially improve their physical shape their health their energy levels their mood then this video is certainly for you so let's dive straight into the material shall we so just like when we make a cake you need certain ingredients right so ingredients for better health ingredients for a, a better looking body and so on and so forth wherever you want to gain more muscle or lose fat and so on that's that's your prerogative so you know what what sort of um ingredients do you need when you make a cake right some of the essentials you've got like butter you've got flour you've got eggs and so on and so forth so it's the same sort of thing as what i want us to be doing now as it relates to our physical shape our health and so on so we all know that we need to train consistently i'm not going to add that because that's an obvious one as well but you know the importance of sleep is staggering i mean if you don't sleep well the average person will consume so many more calories per day uh simply because they just didn't sleep enough and they yeah, that messes your hormones and, and ghrelin is over the over the roof metaphorically uh, speaking which makes you want to you feel hungrier and you just tend to eat just a lot more and also you tend to eat more the wrong types of foods as well uh, because of uh, sleep deficiency so please bear that in mind as well so make sure you're getting at least seven to nine hours of sleep every single day ideally uh, you can make up for it with naps i guess uh, if you know you didn't get your seven hours plus so feel free to do that as well uh, what other ingredients so we've got supplementation I've done previous videos on all kinds of uh, supplements that people could have to improve the quality of their health. So things like fish oils, krill oil uh, for the DHA uh, is great for inflammation and so on and so forth, reducing inflammation. That, that is, it's great for your brain function too. Uh, you've got things like uh, turmeric, which can reduce inflammation in the body as well. Um, what else can you be doing? It you can um, you can reduce like water weight by having certain types of um, uh, the ingredients in, in, as it relates to that as well uh, what else can you do well to improve your immune function you can have things like ginger and garlic uh, that can be fantastic to increase your energy levels to, and to Im uh, boost your hormones you can have vitamin d uh, vitamin d3 can be fantastic for that to increase your energy levels so you feel energized to go and train and work out all types of uh, b vitamins uh, b6 b12 stand out to me um but there are some com complex vitamin B supplements that you can get that kind of gives you an abundance of all of them. Uh, what else can you have to improve your how hard you train and how often you train? You could have things like uh, L-arginine and L-cartinine as well. Um, obviously, caffeine is a great pre-workout boost to make sure you push yourself even more than you would do normally. So those are all sorts of supplements that you can uh, ingest in order to get them, uh, maximize the quality of your workouts and to give you more energy. Make sure you recover better as well. So BCAAs are part of that package as well. If you're, What else can we do on a daily basis? Uh, be more active. So things like uh, going out during your lunch breaks, going for a walk as opposed to just sitting there uh, and just chilling in the office with the team for example uh, you might want to grab people and go for a walk not a smoke go for a walk uh, it makes a big difference especially if it's good weather because you can get vitamin d uh, naturally in that in doing so as well so getting two killing two birds with one stone sort of thing don't don't throw stones at birds it's, it's not a good thing to do uh, so what else can you be doing um to kind of improve your health, your energy levels. Do things that you enjoy. People don't really understand how interconnected some of these things are. So when you enjoy doing activities, so what kind of hobbies do you enjoy doing? Whether you enjoy playing pool, snooker, whether you enjoy uh, going dancing, whether you enjoy uh, going to the cinema and watching a movie. Like these things play a role because when you feel better and you do things that make you feel strong, it reduces uh, stress. And when you reduce stress, you're less likely to eat impulsively, okay? There is a massive correlation between people with extremely high stress levels and eating uh, inappropriately, like uh, highly refined processed foods. Um, so, so bear that in mind as well. So uh, making sure you make time for your hobbies is, is really important as well. Um, what else can we be doing? Sleeping well, supplementing well, uh, how am I going to put this? So I want to put this as a natural scenery. Natural scenery, actually. So uh, 
going like I outlined before, going for a walk in the park or walk, going for a walk to, uh, down the beach and with the with the sunnies or down a uh, down a like I said a park or somewhere there's greenery because greenery and flowers that kind of environment and and also when you just smell flowers it increases your energies. It's, it's really powerful stuff. Uh, so go look go look into. That. I'm not a specialist in that field, but it, it has been scientifically proven. Yeah. Having things like um, so going for a walk in these kind of natural environments changes your brain frequency so that uh, you tend to be much calmer, much more relaxed, more logical. Your prefrontal cortex kind of runs the show. That's exactly what you want if you want to make better choices for yourself rather than uh, just re living a more reactive lifestyle where your limbic brain, your emotional brain uh, and your reptilian brain, the most uh, ancient and archaic part of our brains that we all have, um, you don't want them to be running the show. Uh, because that will make you eat more impulsively, do things to gratify yourself more immediately, like eating unhealthily, for example. You want to you wanna let your prefrontal cortex run the show as often as possible. And exposing yourself to natural, beautiful scenery can uh, enable you to do so. So um, what else could you be doing? Um, obviously, different types of workouts. So you've got your HIIT training. Um, that's fantastic for burning uh, more calories and also revving up your metabolism. You want to build muscle, so you might want to take part in some resistance resistance training to help you uh, as it relates to hypertrophy and building more muscle mass. Um, not only does that increase your metabolism, but it's actually easier for you to lose fat if you have more muscle, that your workouts become harder and so on and so forth. Uh, yeah, what else do I want you to do? Well, those are loads. What else can we add to this? Because the whole point is just to add our ingredients and to be a bit more creative. Um, what else could you do to lose more weight? Well, it kind of relates to supplementation. So, eating a diet of earth-grown foods. If you eat earth-grown foods more often, you're not going to need the uh, unhealthy stuff as often as possible. So, earth-grown foods, I'm referring to you know things like uh, plant-based foods, vegetables, salads, um, you know, nuts, seeds. Um, what else? What else do I want you to have? Uh, some fruit, to an extent, fruit can be good for us, uh, especially blueberries and, and, and raspberries and these sort of things, because they they also are not only great for your uh, your energy levels and giving you vitamin C and so on and so forth, but they also uh, improve your cognitive function, how your brain works. So you actually make better decisions throughout the day. Uh, and actually get more done, and it can improve your self-esteem and so on and so forth. So, um, I've given you tons to work with here. So, I want you to create your own cake. No, not an actual cake, please do not take that from this video. Um, but I want you to create your own brainstorm, outline the different things that you could do to improve your the quality of your physical shape and your health. And, you know, if you like this kind of material, you want to know more, head on over to my website at www.alexgem.com. Simply click join SPM today. That will enable you to gain access to my paid online advanced course, at the Body Shape System. It is ridiculously good. You're going to love it. I've also thrown in there free sensational bonuses, hours of exclusive video footage, podcast material, uh, and audio segments to help you along your journey. Uh, and I would love to be part of that. Also, you might want to join my mastermind group. I do a virtual version. Um, you can also, if you can't join us live, and if you can't join us uh, through like a, a Zoom call or such, then you might be able to just buy the course version where you can see me answering the activities, uh, the brilliant activities in great detail. And you can see me uh, presenting to, with a group and working alongside the group to come up with different ways and to delve deeper to uncover why we aren't changing our physical shape, why we don't have as much energy as we want, uh, why we aren't living abundantly and maximizing our health and so on and so forth. So definitely check that out as well. You can find that at my website as well. So if you're watching this on um, YouTube, make sure you click subscribe. Make sure you also click the notifications button so that you can get regular updates of my newest material. And I cannot wait to work with you. I'll see you soon.